Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this is my dog Phoebe. And this is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs using Canva. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to stick around. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this design right here. It says ready to crush second grade. And this is a back to school design. Um, First thing you might notice is that this is on a white shirt and I typically design on black. If you do this on Merch by Amazon and you select black as one of your colors, it will be the default color for your thumbnail. So um, no matter what color you had in mind when you designed it, if black is one of your options, black will be the default thumbnail that will be used. So the only way to have a thumbnail that is not black is to not select black as one of your options or as one of your colors. So that being said, when people are searching on Amazon, they're going to see a whole bunch of black shirts. So one way to stand out would be to design a shirt on a color other than black and to not select black as one of the options. So this is an example where we design specifically for a white shirt. Okay. So in a field of black shirts, this one would stand out because it would likely be the only white one on the page. And um, ready to crush second grade is a very popular niche. It can be scaled, obviously, ready to crush kindergarten, ready to crush preschool, ready to crush first grade. So very scalable and it's popular every year as kids start to go back to school. I do realize that summer is just starting, so it is actually a good time to start thinking about your back to school designs. Most students will start going back to school somewhere in August. So it's a good idea to, to start thinking of those. So this is a different take on the ready to crush second grade. Um, it's a little bit more unique, so it's not gonna be the typical dinosaur or monster truck that you're used to seeing. This will work great for a student. It would also work great for a teacher. So if you were a teacher going back and you were teaching second grade, this is a great back to school shirt for them too. So you can market it both ways. So anyways, if you would like to learn how to design this shirt, go ahead and stick around. Okay. So as always, we're going to start with our blank background and it is going to be uh, 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And I did have somebody ask uh, how you would go about doing that. So when you log into your Canva page and you just get this main page, you can come up to custom size in the right hand corner, or you can go to create a design. Either way will work. If I hit custom size, oops, I can put in right here the width and the height that I want. And over on the corner, I can select pixels, inches, millimeters, centimeters. So you're gonna go ahead and select pixels. And then you're just gonna go ahead and type in what you want. Down here, I have my recent ones selected. So 4,500 by 5,400. And that will open up a blank page for me. That is the size that I want. So here's what we're starting with. Now, typically I design on black, but for today's video, we're going to be designing on white. Now, the benefits to this are that if you have a white t-shirt um, on Merch by Amazon and all of the default shirts are black, yours will definitely stand out. So if you're looking for something to stand out, anytime you have black selected, that will be the default color. Um, if you do not select black, there is a kind of tiered system that they do. I think the next one might be either a dark heather gray or navy blue, and it kind of goes down. But if the only color that you select is white, or if the only color that you select is orange or pink, then that will be the default uh, thumbnail that people will see. So if you want yours to stand out, sometimes making it in a different color and not selecting black is a way to do that. So for today's, we are gonna be designing on white, and this is going to be a back to school design. So I'm gonna come up to elements, and the first thing I'm gonna be doing is searching for lined paper, because we're gonna make this look like a piece of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in just lined paper. And you can see the very first thing that comes up is perfect, this is what I'm gonna be using, so I will just select this, perfect. All right, and now I'm just going to make this fill the entire page because I want this to look like it's one big sheet of lined paper. Oop. You're giving me trouble here. All right, perfect. Something like that. So now my background looks like a lined piece of paper. And so now this is going to be mostly text but I'm gonna use some more handwriting style text. 
So I'm just gonna hit T on my keyboard. That will pull up a text box. And so what I'm going to be writing is ready to crush second grade. So the first line I'm gonna put is just gonna be ready. So I'm going to type in ready. And I'm gonna make this bigger. There we go. I'm going to pull it up towards the top of the page. Oops, and so that's where ready is gonna be. I'm gonna pull up another text box now. So I hit T again. And this time it's just gonna say two. Bring that one down just a little bit. I'm gonna pull up another text box. This one is going to say crush. This time I want it in uppercase. So it's gonna say crush somewhere down here. And then one more text box. And this is going to say second, and I'm gonna do it like that, grade. So now obviously this is going to be a scalable design, which means that you can substitute second grade here for anything. So it can be ready to crush kindergarten, ready to crush first grade, ready to crush third grade, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Cool thing about this design is it could be made for a kid or it could be made for a teacher. So if you're a teacher going back to school and you teach second grade, having a shirt that says ready to crush second grade, that's totally appropriate. So now we're gonna pick some fonts and they're gonna be some cool handwriting fonts like what you might see on you know, a scribbled piece of paper. So starting with ready, I'm going to come up to my fonts and now I can put kids, I can put fun, I can put handwriting. I'm gonna go with handwriting for now. And I've actually already been through here to select which fonts I know I want, but I just wanna show you how I would go about looking. And so the first one I'm looking for is I'm just coming down and I'm, I'm, you know, looking for anything that looks fun, something that looks handwritten so you can kind of see the way that this would look. Um, and there's a lot of different kind of school handwritten ones that you can pick from. You can see as I start to come down here. And so you can just play with it, you know, try out a bunch of different ones. We're going to do a different style on each line so that every line is going to look a little bit different. But so you can just, you know, go down, see what a bunch of the different ones look like, and you can, you know, select from there. I know that what I wanna look for for this first one is, is actually one that kinda looks like a sketch, and it is called Landrina Sketch. Oops, what did I spell it wrong? Landrina, is it Landrina maybe? Landrina Sketch, okay, with an O, here it is. And so you see it gives this sort of cool outline sketch design. And so this is what I'm going to be starting with. Oops. Take that back. And I will make this nice and big. So I want it to go all the way across the page. I'm going to line it up right here. Maybe use my keys. So something like that, that is gonna be the first font that I'm gonna choose. Next one I'm going to go down to, and I'm just gonna repeat the process again. You can pick handwriting, and you can keep going like that. If you know the ones that you want, obviously you can um, you know, type in the name of it. Um, everything I want is pretty much down here. So I'm gonna do the second one, says give you glory. That's the font I'm gonna choose, and again, Make it a little bit bigger. Bring it down a little bit. Bring it over a little bit. So I can just use the arrows on my keyboard too if I wanna make smaller adjustments. Next one is crush. Repeat the same process here. Again, if you know which ones you want, they're easy. I'm gonna go here with crush. This one right here is called Sunday and it is a big one and it looks great in all caps. And so it's gonna give that big, bold, I'm going to crush, look, perfect. And then the last font I'm going to select down here, which I've already chosen, I think was one little font right here, I liked that. And so now it is gonna say second grade, I'm gonna put it on the bottom line. If you hear any barking in the background, those would be my dogs. Okay, so now it's looking pretty good but you can see that the bottom two lines look a lot darker than the top two lines. And so ways that we can do this, we can add a shadow. Um, 
if it allows us to bold, which these two will not, we can always make a bold. Uh, we can adjust the size to make this smaller and this bigger. So there's different ways around it. For ready, what I'm gonna do is come up to effects. And what I can do here, so I can either add a shadow, that might work, and bring the offset way down so that it just almost doubles the thickness. And I wanna make sure that this is a solid black. Okay, it is. And so doing something like that just sort of doubles it a little bit. It's gonna make it look a little bit thicker, just having that extra shadow on it. Okay, and the two, I can go ahead and make that one just bigger. Okay. So something like that's going to look good. Maybe I make the crush a little bit smaller and bring it in a little. Okay. So it's a pretty simple design at the moment. I'm going to add a little bit of flair to it. Not too much because I do want to keep it simple, but maybe something like an apple or paper airplane, just some doodles on the side because, you know, kids like to doodle on their paper. So let's go ahead and go back up to elements. And I'm just going to go ahead with just like apple and see if we can just find what looks more like a hand drawn apple. So here are some good examples of kind of hand drawn apples. I like this one here. Oops, let me get it. Because it does look sort of more scribbled. It looks like it goes on the page a little bit better and it looks like more of a kid's design here. So something like that, ready to crush. And I want to put a little paper airplane right here. Oops. And again, something that kind of gives it this hand-drawn look. And so there's a lot of different hand-drawn ones we can do. That one looks kind of cool. That one looks kind of cool. And that one looks kind of cool. So they're all, you know, good sort of hand-drawn ones and you can pick any one you want so let's say I like this one okay let's see it duplicated it oh no I only want one so I can take this I can shrink it down I can change the angle if I want to let's say I want to rotate it just a little bit so it looks like it's going up more All right, so something like that looks pretty good. If you wanted to throw some colors in here, you could. You know, right now it's just black and white, but you know, kids like to draw. So if you wanted to do something where it looks like maybe they were using some markers or some crayons or some colored pencils, again, trying to keep it like a little school, a little kid's school design. But that is a way to create the standard, you know, ready to crush second grade, which is a really popular niche but to do it a little bit differently and in a way that might stand out a little bit from all of the other designs. So again, real simple, real easy, but you can kind of play with it. You can make lots of different versions of it. So I'm just gonna title it here, ready to uh, crush. And this one's gonna be second grade. And again, I can make this for all different levels of school. I'm gonna come up to share. I will hit download. This will be a PNG file and a transparent background, and I will hit download, and that is all there is to it. So this was a pretty quick design, pretty quick video. I, I hope you found it useful, though. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful, I would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.